And really, a lot of our current work has to do with interspirituality, which has to do with dialogue about ultimate reality, the experience of ultimate reality across traditions. So it's a, it, it, it take, it, it's a deepening to a place where people reach a common ground or a common heart. One place where this has begun to manifest has been in the rebirth, the reconvening of the parliament of the world's religions. The mission of the parliament of the world's religions is stated as harmony, not unity. Convergence, not consensus. There's something very spiritual about the way differences are not only transcended but included in a harmony. Now, there have been studies in the field of leadership. Dan Goleman and his associates uh, wrote a book based on their research called Primal Leadership. And what they discovered is that there are really two opposite ways that leaders can affect people. And the terms they used are resonance and dissonance. Those are terms that are really drawn from the world of sound and of vibration. So resonant leadership is something that draws people into a common field, a common field of vision, a common field of collaboration, a common field of creativity. It's the resonance that draws them together. Dissonance, on the other hand, awakens in people defenses. So in a sense, you could say that the difference between dissonance and resonance is the expansion of our being versus the contraction, often in the involuntary contraction of our being in the face of, of dissonance. One of the things that that brings up for me about music mm -hmm. is that you feel expansive when you're listening to music. Mm. You let go of your defenses. You let go of your muscle tension. You let go of your stress. And that leaves you open to harmonize with whatever is around you, to harmonize with another person, which is why music is so lovely for lovemaking, or to harmonize like in the Parliament of World Religions. Mm. Uh, there was a beautiful night outside of the great uh, cathedral that's still being built, the masterpiece of Antoni Gaudi, uh, La Sagrada Familia. And there was music from almost every world religious tradition. It was absolutely extraordinary. The world is shrinking. Marshall McLuhan said long ago that because of the electronics that we are becoming a global village, that time and space are shrinking and we're being drawn together. What's being drawn together are cultures, religions, traditions that have been geographically dispersed apart from one another, ethnically apart from one another, religiously apart from one another, based on certain geographic locations and ethnic identities. As the world shrinks, people who are the bearers of these identities are suddenly being pushed up against each other like tectonic plates um, and what this is creating immediately is conflict. We can see this sectarian conflict happening all over the world today. And that is one effect of bringing together the convergence of these differing cultures. But another phenomenon is happening that is at least as interesting and certainly more promising. And that is the fusion where musical traditions are coming together. It, it suggests that if we can go under, if we can transcend our language barriers and our dogma, our dogmatic barriers, and, and move to the area of music, that is a place where, where uh, the fusion of traditions is, is really, really beautiful.